My name's Alison Haswell. I live in York with my son and daughter, um, and my husband was in the hospice a couple of years ago. I came to know about the hospice when my dad came in here, when it got too hard for us to care for him at home. I didn't really know anything about it. I'd never heard of anything like it before. The word hospice terrified me, um, and I thought it was going to be really sad and a depressing place, but just the minute you walk through the door, it wasn't. I remember bringing Duncan in when he came back in for the second time, and breaking down in the corridor, because I just felt so sad that we couldn't have him at home anymore. And um, this lovely nurse just gave me a great big hug and whisked me off to a, to a side room and just sat me down and said, you know, it's all right, you know, this is just, you know, this is, we're just going to be an extension of you now. And, you know, we're going to help take over the reins and just help you look after Duncan. And, you know, we were still included at every point of the journey. You know, it wasn't as if we'd given up caring for Duncan. We'd just come to a different place to do it. And there was lots of people on hand to help us. And that was just amazing. My involvement in the hospice started with my wife who got cancer, Brenda, we call her. I remember vividly the, the situation of when I first came into the place. I've never had the feeling before or since I got this feeling as if a weight had been taken off my shoulders. She was over the moon with the place. She says it's like a top star hotel, her own little room and I couldn't wish for anything better. I'm Fran. My dad, um, for most of his working life, was a mechanical fitter at a local power station. He was my hero. <laughs> Sadly, in July 2010, he was diagnosed with mesothelioma. My dad was struggling at home. He was struggling to get comfortable. He was in quite a lot of pain. Um, my mum was struggling. Um, sleep-wise more than anything I think and, and trying to care for him so once he came to the hospice um, it sort of takes that pressure off a little bit and although we were here as much as we could be here you know that my dad was in good hands and, and there's always somebody there if he's in pain or you know if you need somebody to talk to always somebody and always somebody with a smile on the face my name's Alan Howland. Um, my mum was in the hospice this time last year. She'd been diagnosed with terminal cancer and was just looking for somewhere that was peaceful and be looked after in a quiet and dignified way. She started eating again because the food was so good, well prepared and presented, and all the staff were just so friendly and smiling and just kept her spirits up when Obviously she was feeling pretty down about things and it was really nice when I was able to stay over with her when she was coming towards the end of her life. My name's Sue Bonarius. My daughter had cancer when she was 20 and it got to the stage where she needed more pain relief and more care. And from the moments that we walked through the doors the, the atmosphere, it wasn't like coming into a, a hospital or anything. It was just so lovely. The staff and the nurses, they, they, were, they were on hand for anything that, that Francoise needed, which was very important. And it, it was just lovely to be able to sit with her and to be a mum and a daughter, rather than having to be so at home and be a nurse. And, and, and lose some time that, we, we, that was very precious to us. My name is Alan Ashton. My wife Doreen died recently of terminal lung cancer. She was cared for first by hospice at home and finally towards the end she came into the hospice itself at St Leonard's. They were very good when they came in because at that time when you go through a, a carer's situation you become more and more tired mentally and physically and they seem to judge the time when you're really exhausted. Hospice at home came in, took everything away, like the injections and the washing and the cleaning and the bedding and everything was done. And it was, and it was tremendous. My name is Marjorie. 
I come to daycare every Thursday and I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> it's lovely to just be treated as a person. I like meeting the people and no one talks about being ill or anything. It's, it's a, like an oasis in a week. I just think it's a very special place. Um, the people that work here are that they are just amazing and as soon as you walk in into the, into the hospice it's just like you, you're getting a big hug really from somebody who really cares and somebody who knows what they're doing and, and they will do everything they can to support you and take all the pain away from you. It's just fantastic the work that everyone does here. The compassion that people have it is just astounding. We were able to, to sit and, and chat and say things that we probably wouldn't have had time to do at home because there was so much to do. Here, everything was taken care of for me, which enabled me to do just that, to be with her and, and to talk and to sit and hold her hand. And, and it was a very lovely time and one that we certainly wouldn't have been able to have done at home um, and the hospice enabled me to do that.